Attach a ring terminal to the end of a black wire. Make sure the black wire is long enough to reach the center of the battery location. Use crimp pliers to attach securely. Make sure the ring terminal is secure. Attach the terminal to the ground screw. Make sure it is the screw that was identified as the ground during the light installation. Install a small washer on the screw. Secure the washer and ring terminal with the nut. Attach a butt splice to the end of a red wire. Make sure the red wire is long enough to reach the center of the battery location. Use crimp pliers to attach securely. Make sure the butt splice is secure. Attach the black wire from the rear light to the other end of the butt splice. Use crimp pliers to attach securely. Make sure the butt splice is secure. Push the red and black wire into a flex tubing. Route the flex tubing and the wires to the center of the battery location. Wrap a piece of electrical tape over the end of the flex tubing. Use cable ties to secure the flex tube to the frame. Complete the same steps for the other rear light routing the wires to the center of the battery location. Wire the front lights in the same manner. Connect to power and check connections. Push the front light wires into the flex tubing. Route the wires through the hole in the dash. One hot from the rear, one hot from the front, and one ground wire. The wires are wired together from the front and back lights. Attach the wires to the light switch. Secure the switch with screws. Push the wires into flex tubing.
secure the flex tube with cable ties. Attach a female disconnect to the end of the red wire. Connect the red wire to the positive terminal of the 12 volt battery. Connect the black wire to the negative terminal of the 12 volt battery. Turn on the switch and check the lights. Be sure to watch part 26. I will install the mirrors. Thanks for watching.